Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a screen recording on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. <laughs> yeah, they still make those. But first, take a moment and subscribe. We love all you guys who watch these videos, but we love those who subscribe just a little bit more. So, you have an iPhone and you wanna do a screen recording, but a screenshot is just not enough. Well, the good news is if you're running iOS 11 or newer, you have a screen recorder built right into your phone. Uh, hey, let's, let's back up for a second. So, if you're not sure what a screen recording is, let's just define some terms here. So, there's a screenshot, which basically takes a photo of what's on your screen of the phone. And if you're not sure how to do that, we have a great video we did, one of my favorites on how to do that. A screen recording records a video of what's on your screen. And what's great about this is if you're running iOS 11 or newer, it's built right in. It's really easy to use, and we're gonna show you how to do it. You could even record sound. Okay, even though it can record sound, this is not like you're gonna be watching a Netflix video or a YouTube video and recording it and all of a sudden, hey, look, I got the new Dolomite movie on my phone. <laughs> That's not what this is designed for. But that being said, if you're wondering, hey, Patrick, why are you making a video on screen recording in 2019? This is not meant for you. It's meant for people who might not know the feature. And also, if everyone knew the feature, I wouldn't have a job. Here's what you need. You're gonna need an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch that could run iOS 11, iOS 12, iOS 13, or iPad OS 13. So that means if you have an iPhone 5S, you could do a screen recording. First thing you wanna do is bring up your control panel. Now that's the thing that has like your brightness and volume and that little like flashlight button. On an older phone, it's gonna be swiping up to the bottom of the screen to reveal it. And on a newer phone like the 10, 10S, 11, it's gonna be swiping down from the top right side to find it. Now what you're looking for is the screen record button. You might have it or you might not. What it looks like is a solid circle inside a ring, inside a square with curved corners. If you don't see the screen recording button in the control panel, open up your settings app and scroll down to control panel and tap on that. Then tap on the customize controls button. From there you're gonna see two lists, a list at the top that has all the things already in your control panel, and a list at the bottom that says more controls, so things you wanna add. Scroll down to screen recording and tap the plus sign to add it. By the way, while you're here, let's have a little control panel party and you can add other things. One of my favorites is the control panel button for the wallet as well as the stopwatch. I like to time a lot of things. Control panel party over. To record, you're gonna open up the control panel and tap on the screen record button. There's a little three second countdown, so it's like three, two, one, and then the icon's gonna blink, and that means the screen's being recorded. Another way you can tell if the screen's being recorded is on a new phone, like an iPhone 10 or newer, you're gonna see like a red oval around the time, indicating it's being captured. On an older device, you're gonna see a red stripe across the top of the screen. To stop the recording, you just tap on that red area. So on an old phone, there'd be the stripe. On the new one, the oval. The downside is these red things are baked in the video file. And to get rid of them, you gotta crop the video. The upside is you can do that right on your phone. If you're not sure, take a look at our video on 12 tips for your iPhone 11 for better video, including how to crop a, well, video. However, let's say you wanna do a screen recording and use the audio from your microphone. You can do that. I know, how fancy. What you're gonna do is when you go to push the screen record button, you're gonna push and hold it and you'll see a mini menu pop up. Now this menu has a list of the apps that support screen recording, and below that is a circular button that says microphone on or off. You just tap it to turn it on and it turns red, and your microphone's being recorded. I should warn you guys that not every app will support a screen recording. Hey, also, uh, I just, well, I just gotta say this. So if you're recording the screen of your phone or iPad or iPod, you're recording everything on your screen, including notifications. So what I like to do is put it into do not disturb mode so those notifications aren't popping up all over my recording and messing it up. Cause I'm an artist at the end of the day. A screen recording artist. <laughs> I sound nothing like Patrick Stewart. So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. Let's see what we have screen record here.